difference? How's your take on the two different from gym to like being in a martial arts gym kind of a way? Like, yeah, well, the first thing, like, one thing I learned that, um, so without spin classes, yeah, you know, we'll definitely have the stamina for it, you know, we can yeah. definitely go hard at it, but no matter how many spin classes you get, if you get dig in the face, that's it, once, you ain't getting used to that, dig in the face, and uh, it's different, like, when you're on the spin bike, you're just on the kind like, you're on the one spot and you're doing that, but like. In fighting, you're at it. You're moving away. You're going forward. You're going side to side. You're going left to right. You're going up, down, yeah, left. You're moving right. your hands, your arms, your legs. And I remember I see a lot of people going in there. They be all into mad into football, Gaelic, and all that. Yeah. They do one round of kickboxing and they they're are gone. dying. They don't know what's going on. Yeah. They're like, how is this happening? Because you're constantly thinking, oh, he's doing this. He's throwing a fist. He's throwing a kick. He's throwing this. Like, and you, you're just like everywhere. And like, they panic. A lot of people panic. And then they're like, oh my god, and they're using so much energy trying to like hide and duck and move and weave like that. And that's another thing I think is really good for confidence wise. Like for that small, like that kid who's or getting bullied or something. The jiu jitsu, I think it's amazing. Like if you want to build your self confidence in like learning how to the kind of the, not to go out and be a bully that you can like, yeah, I can beat everyone up. I can choke him out. I can break his this, break that. It's, it's more like if it comes to that, that's yeah. my last resort is to tr- it's open that okay I know how to defend myself I know he doesn't know and that's the funny thing about it. you're just smiling going I know he th- he doesn't know that I know Yeah, I can just <laughs> put him to the yeah, floor yeah. and it's all over and when I, I did it for two years like and I felt like that like I'd go out and I had people staring at me and I'd just be like to him look I'm not looking for trouble I really am not like I'm sorry I'll buy you another drink whatever I'm sorry about that mm. and whatever be solved alright fair enough fair enough fair enough but like I've seen people where like I know he's like unbelievable kickboxing and I see someone staring on them and you know what he did he just laughed at him he started laughing yeah. at him and go get away from just me just get some popcorn just like, oh, <laughs> you're like this is it like, here. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is it like, <laughs> like the um, what was it like as I say I think we were talking about this before like you spoke about right someone wants to rob your phone yeah. instead of getting hurt at least take the same guy here here's the phone but um, you know you have to and my for me you have to have I have boundaries as well like um, it's all different to, like that's just how I would do I just, yeah. it's just a phone at the end of the day yeah, like yeah like um like but some people that's their pride and joy in their life if they can't go two seconds without their phone and they're just like no you're not taking my phone mm-hmm. no I hope you're taking my phone and it's kind of like well then I'm gonna stab you but like that's why you should do something I think everyone in the world should do something like some kind of martial arts some kind of boxing kickboxing karate taekwondo. Just do something just to if, have yeah. that. Just to have it. Not to hurt people. Even if it's just how to hold your hands up and know how to move away from a box or something like that. Yeah. Just to have something in your back pocket to say, okay, I can get out of this and this is the way. I can try talk it out and if talk it doesn't work, if it looks like it's going to become physical, at least I know how to rather defend myself, block a punch or try and get them up. Like, try and stay my distance. Like, you're a very tall person. Like if someone goes up against you straight away, all you have to do is just put out, uh, keep jabbing him and jabbing him, put your hand out at that. He's not going to go near because look at the size, yeah. And I don't think anyone would start on you for being like a big chap, like being big, being physical and all that. Mm. Like I seen people, I people. I remember someone coming up to me and goes, "Oh, I'm surprised no one's starting you do that." And I go, "No, why?" He goes, "Oh, you just have that look about you." I go, "What do you mean a look?" And I go, just, I, "I don't know. I just want to start on you." And I'm like, "I don't know." Like I've been told I look scary, and I'm like. No, I'm five foot six. I doubt anyone who's five foot six is scary. Like I'm not I'm no more near being scared of anyone. Like I'm not scared. Like I thought, I thought it was funny. Like how you can say you're scary. It's like I've met scary people. I am yeah. not a thing about being scared. Like like the the confidence. I think you you're saying about you know the person laughing <laughs> as in you know the person holding a knife to you. Yeah. But what I would say is to that there, like in terms of confidence, because all the spins I'm doing. I'm confident enough for saying he, already, he ain't catching up with me if I run. <laughs> Just take him <laughs> If I to turn yeah. around and run. But that's saying, all right to run away. He can catch me if you want. But, but like, and then as well, like, you know, it's the people that you love as well. So say, for example, someone could start me or even punch me. I'd probably just walk away or do the legal yeah. thing. But say, for example, your parents, people were giving you money all your life. Yeah. Air for you. If someone came up to say your mother and father, oh yeah, give me all your money, I just would not allow that. No, no. I, no. I you know, it's just that, and that's a Berenger cross and I would work with your mum. Keep that in your pocket. Do not give it to him. Yeah, you know. I've had uh, I've had that before That's with my mum or dad giving me their phone, like when I went into town or younger. Mm. And if I had people come up to me going, "Give me your fucking phone," and all, I'd be like, "No, I'm not giving it to you. Not hope my giving mm. you my my mum or dad's phone." Or like, "Oh, I need free calls. I need this." It's like I'm not giving you my phone. Stop asking me for my phone. I'm, you're not going near my phone now. But now I'm older now, and now it's my own phone. I'm kind of just like right. 
it's a shit yell phone anyway so it's not really like this it was a phone worth like a thousand euro or something higher 500 i'd be like okay no 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 this is my phone you're not getting my phone i don't care if you're a junkie or you have yeah. 20 noise on it you are not getting yeah, I, I work 60 hours a week for this i'm yeah. not giving you this phone. It's like, yeah yeah like, <laughs> Personal, it's like a personal thing to you then. It's like, I worked so hard for this phone. You are not, no hope in hell. Are you touching me with this phone? Yeah. You're touching and me, not thing. come near me. Like, like wh- why should we give in to, you know... Wh- Bullies. And not even that, but why should we even say, just give them what they want and yeah. walk away? Yeah. You know, who put that logic in our minds anyway? I just, I don't know, why, I, I see where it's coming from, but like, it, to them... It means they, they win. Criminals, they, yeah. they, they pick up things and say, ah, oh, sure, grand, they give it you know, what I want anyway. Yeah. If you build a society where we learn to respect ourselves and say, you know, you work six hours a week, do not give him that. Yeah. Then like, oh, right, he's not going to give him. But there's some people that are just too soft. Huh? Just too yeah, soft. Like, why like, should, why just way too soft. That just be like, boo. And they're like, oh, 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 oh yeah. here you go, here you go, here's everything I have, here's exactly. my t-shirt, here's my shoes, like, leave me alone. You, like. And to me, again, do, do you respect yourself by doing that? No, you everything. feel like yeah. a bitch, man. You, you, feel, you feel, feel like a bee. Like, you just feel like, oh, I'm less of a human. I'm less of a... Yeah. Making, and it's a traumatic thing to happen to to get robbed. Like, I've gotten, like, I've gotten shillings taken on, like, two or three euro. Like, just give me your fucking money now. And you're just kind of like, I have two euro. Give me that. And you're like, all right, yeah. it's two euro. Ooh, like, I'm not going to cry about two euro. Like, like in school, yeah, I don't, yeah. Like, say in school, people asking you for money, bullies asking you for money. Do you know, I swore, like, I'd never let that happen to me again. So, say someone comes up now and says, you oh, get them, Pats. Oh, I did, yeah. I never got damn pads, man. I, I never saying, got... Oh, yeah, do you have your own? Yeah, I'm like... Um, I've had that, but I've never had someone go and give me your lunch money. Like, I've never had that kind of experience. Yeah, I'm not, not, not even that, but, like, you know... Just idiots, like. Jump up and down so we can hear the coins jingling. <laughs> <and> so <sorry>, you <laughs> But, you know... I've had people go into me, take off your shoes, or, like, it's take in your socks. Your shoes. It's in your socks. And I'd be like, I'm, what are you on about? Like, yeah, I can hear it in your socks and all... And I'm like, no, there's like no money. And you'd be like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. clapping and shaking. They're like, no, there's something there. And they're like, there's nothing in my bloody pot. You can, I can, yeah, I take out, I'd be emptying them. I even yeah. went, I remember one time I went to the Diamond Cinema, like when it was, oh, geez, I think it was like 11, 12. Yeah. And they accused me of robbing. And the first thing I did straight away, I just entered every single one of my pockets. I'm like, what am I, what you, what you accused me of robbing sweets? You're like, everything. And straight away, my dad rang in and asked him, and straight away, they apologised, and they got, I was on the phone, and they're like, we're so sorry about that, that was absolutely yeah. disgraceful what we did there, and he gave me two free cinema passes, and a free popcorn any time I came in, and I thought that was brilliant, like, but I was only a young chap back then, and there's probably people in there who were robbing and fleecing the people yeah. in the place over, and well, I was just accused. Experiences, experiences uh, do a lot to everyone, like, say, like a car crash, for example, yeah, or... Um, a barbell falling in your mouth or something like that and you're not going to do that again what you need to do is you know when you get out of the house see if people who have been in a car crash how many times have and they have that one experience yeah you know how many experiences have you had where you went out left the house and not crashed probably thousands of times thousands of times so you're not focusing you know you're only focusing on that traumatic experience yeah it's like you getting fired from work or you're told you're not you're not good enough and yeah. I think or I think what was it well, I'd say about 90% of people now that you know what I mean it's just when people are going from job to job nowadays yeah. they, they, whether it be from a girl whether it be from your boss everyone has that kind of but if you go out there and experience the word properly and write out that list that goes against that belief yeah and um, just break that feedback loop you know, and last thing I'll say is create those positive affirmations of you know really visualise where you want to be or and just, just as I make notes say this is I'm, I'm getting closer to this goal now I'm getting yeah. closer to it and everything else will just be blocked off you know even though something does happen yeah. it's just whoosh, gone I, I that's what I'm doing kind of now with this podcast so that I'm setting out these little goals like just tiny goals like on my first video now I nearly have 100 views on it and that's yeah. just personally to me. I think, oh my god, a hundred people actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What listen to my voice, my stupid. I think I've seen that. Like, I think I've seen that on your video. Yeah. Yeah, like I, Instagram. But that's what I like. Like I like they're my little goals. Like even if I just get like three or four people viewing my um, my podcast, or even just liking my page or liking a photo, like that's I just think that I take that. I'm like the, oh that's nice. Well, I have one. Like it's not like oh no one likes me. Oh no, I wanted twenty five likes. I wanted this. I wanted that. I'm just like nah. Let's. I'm building myself up slowly and slowly. It's not going to just be an overnight success where I'm going to no, be a multi-millionaire no. and oh, I've my new studio and I've all this and I've, I've my own talk show and all that. 
I know it's going to take time and effort and now I'm going to try implement what I'm learning now from talking to you as well from the last time I sent you you gave me really good advice about like set my goals don't let anyone do that take the good things out of everything you're going through right now and now I'm going to on Monday I, I'm going to ask you now on Monday and start tomorrow actually yeah I'm going to try and do a 6 o'clock thing because I was told like to wake up really early in the morning is a good thing to start like yeah, your day building exactly. up that kind of stuff like and would you recommend me doing that or would you think th- I would say yeah I mean when you look at you know as long as you get the work done yeah that's you know you, as long as you put first things first but I would say is your morning routine is so important like your morning like, when the second you get up I mean checking your Instagram and your social media get rid of that you yeah know, I mean, you gotta get just get out of the bed and meditate as in breathe in as in those positive aspirations what am I going to do today you know what are you grateful for yeah as in the old saying what are you grateful for what are you joy so I think we're talking about joyful for you know peace and forgiveness all right yeah so how forgiving can I be and the questions you ask yourself someone says oh what is this bitch one today or oh, what is it? <laughs> do you know what I mean or yeah. what is the bollocks say this and this oh yeah. remember that night we were out you know little jacket and shit or whatever it is yeah Instead of asking those questions, ask to ask, how am I going to improve the business? Like, how can how can I how can I add value to my to the people that yeah. watch my videos? And instead of saying how much um why did not get likes today yeah. or well, what can I put out there that really appeals to people? That's yeah. what you be fo- setting your focus on. Um, what can I do to put that little effort in today? What can I do to make myself happier? Yeah. What can I do to make the my my viewers happier? So, and you know, meditate, clear the mind. Visualize just the the air that you breathe through into your yeah. body, down to your calves, and that's gonna you be amazed. I will take every more. advice you give me because, like, I really learned that thing. Like, when I did jujitsu and MMA, like, leave your ego at the door. Yeah. yeah. And I remember we had this chap in my old job. He came in and he was coming a manager. Yeah. And everyone's kind of like, oh, he's this, he's that. But I was like, he's the same age as me. He's been managers of two different businesses. I'm going to try and learn from him, not try and just be like, oh, he's this, he's that, oh, don't talk to him and all. So I re- talked to him, asked him questions, like, how were you a manager? Yeah. What style did you do? How did you deal with this kind of person? How did you deal with that kind of person? Yeah. And I had a little situation, and he actually said it to me, he goes, fair play to you for come up and asking me all these questions, like, you're the only one that done it. And then he goes, why? And he goes, I don't care if you're younger than me, older than me, man, woman, child, whatever. If I think you're better than something than me that I am, I would try and learn from you and try and get that information so I can be better at what I'm trying to do. Like he was, I was trying to be a supervisor at the time and I was like, right, if he was a manager already in two different places and I was going to be a manager somewhere else, I have to learn. I have to learn yeah. what other things I can pick up here. Things. <laughs> Cause a, lot, a lot of people don't want that. They just kind of like stray away to the negativity like, oh, fuck him. Oh, he's better than me. He's done all this. Oh, fuck him. I'm, yeah, yeah. He's better than me now because I'm only 20 whatever like, and I've not done that yet. There's, there's two things I'll say to that there. Like it's... um. You know, instead of judging in the morning or instead of judging they say oh my my my, my manager was a bit of a bitch mm. my manager was a bit of a, an asshole whoever it is instead of judging them perceive them oh well maybe maybe the owner is giving the manager a really rough time right now maybe the, the marriage is in trouble maybe, maybe such and such I know this is going on so I know mm-hmm. how that person feels do you know and I can um, give give that person that kind of perceived that way yeah. so people are, you know it's in the Irishness to just judge and judge and judge and judge and so we don't really perceive anymore we don't really no. understand we don't we, we've lost that um, um, there's that oh, I had another good thing I was going to say something that was oh if you, you'll come back to you don't worry yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happens all the time um, <coughs> um, yeah um, you spoke to it before you don't have to be a genius you don't have to have an IQ yeah because Think of all the people who have a, who are really really smart, pick things up really really fast, but they are lazy. Yeah. How many of those in there are there in the world? Probably shit loads. Probably a lot. Yeah. Probably loads. And you've got a guy who's persistent and not really that talented, but you don't really need to be that guy. The IQ. All you have to do is look at the people who are really where you want to be. Yeah. And just do their habits. Just do what they did. Yeah. Do you know? Like do what they did. Like you don't want to like. Copy, copy every them, single no, thing like just take them. things take a few th- things out here from me just mirror what they don't just do what they did yeah. but don't obviously don't copy and paste their like, work don't, and their be, words don't change your personality like don't be kind of moulding yourself into what they like because that's the, that was their journey you yeah. haven't gone through all what they've gone through you've gone through different things but yeah. like just use their like motivation or like I see a lot like you know they ever see them people they put up like a quote like fair enough yeah a quote but I think if you show them action like 
I seen you, you're in the gym and all. I was like, Jesus, fair bloody play to Niall. Like, I never thought he was very quiet when I met him a few times, but mm. fair bloody play to him. That is absolutely brilliant for him to be in the gym and all.